Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of the semi-final of the winner's bracket. Uh, this is round three of the winner's bracket. This happened before, well it happened actually when I was in France, uh, just before the official cast, so that's why this is just limited to a replay of the match. Uh, but joining me is the man, the myth, the legend, the rowdy one himself, Eliod. Hello sir. Good evening, Mr. Fantastic. How are you doing? What hell of a match you've got today? Oh, wow, this is amazing. It's the hype machine, Elliot. Thank you so much. I'm so up for this. Let's get straight in. First of all, first and foremost, we have these four guard biggins. These look very powerful, don't they, Elliot? I incredibly powerful. Strength four and with guard, they can protect all the other players around them as well. <laughs> yeah, really weird that he's chosen to put two of them out here on the flank. What do you think about that decision? Uh, wait, wait, I'm not thinking. I'm oh, sorry. I'm here to think. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. It's, 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 uh, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah. uh, it, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Yeah, a bit weird. Um, and, and then he's got a tackler and a mighty blow, so he's got two things that can do things. Uh, quite good against, I, like, the, uh, you know, some of the softer matchups that, I didn't, I didn't really think of this, but, you know, I was thinking, well, you can blitz with a tackle or you can blitz with a mighty blow, but, of course, you can base, like, a goblin with a tackler, and then you can hit something with a mighty blow and base something, you know, base, like, say, a clan rat with a mighty blow, can't you? And then you are getting value out of both of them, depending on which dodges they fail and stuff, so... You do get use out of both of them in some matchups, don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. 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 I never really, I never not, really not, not this obviously against the the dwarves. I, I I wonder if like I like especially the the more central of the two wide big ones, like like the one on the right on the flank. Like okay, you may want a strong guy on the flank to help protect against the blitz a little bit. But, like the more inner big one, like why can't he just get swapped with that lino? You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, the inner big one. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Yeah, the in, the inner wide begin. Yeah, and it's it's a bit like it's a bit asymmetrical as well. It's interesting because like this is the one that he this is the start this is this kind of setup that he went multiple occasions. So you know he 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 must like it for some reasons. I just couldn't um, discern them. Yeah, but there you go. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. Yep, fair enough. And uh, he's gone uh, Hiru here, who's his opponent. Uh, so yeah, sorry, Diamond with the Orcs, Hiru with the Dwarves. Uh, I lots of things I didn't like about his build, honestly. Uh, one runner, which means you kind of have to take block on him, right? Um, so like that's fine, that's fine. And then he's gone two troll slayers, and put mighty blow on one rather than a mighty blow lineman. I quite like a mighty blow lineman for tackle mighty, right? But you know, there's something to be said for frenzy and dauntless with yeah. a mighty, you know. Um, so it's not, it's not wrong, is it? What is super interesting though? is not putting guard on the blitzer. People almost always guard both blitzers, don't they, for more mobile guard. Um, there was... In, indeed, there was one game I saw of his where he had, like, all the guards, obviously, like, fighting some orcs or wh whoever it was. I can't remember what team it was in the middle. And then and then the one, including the guard blitzer, and then the one non-guard blitzer was kind of, like, hanging off to the side, you know? So maybe it's a deliberate ploy because he doesn't want to commit both guard blitzers is maybe the line of thinking, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and, like, you want your lineman in the fight all the time. Yeah, and you want exactly, blitzers. yeah. And plus the fact he's only got one runner, he does kind of, like, need a bit of a battle. Like, he needs to protect the edge three a little bit more, I guess. Um, so, like, with with him not having guard, he won't be as involved in the scrum as much. So, yeah, I guess there's there's a there's a method to his madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, Diamond won the toss, chose to receive. That's why they're set up like this. Obviously, standard rule of five. High kick, Mister Throw fails. Absolute ineptitude as normal from that piece. <laughs> High kick does uh, help ameliorate Mister Throw being completely garbage. Of course, there is his me, but five <laughs> does indeed. Yeah, uh, going a little bit faster. <laughs> Follow here to get the 3D, lovely jubbly. Oh, I'm watching on your stream. Despite having open Discord, so I've <laughs> switched back to your stream. There's no chat on Discord, is the thing. Like, I'm not here yeah. to watch the game, I'm here to mock chat. Fair enough then, mock, mock chat, Elliot, you go for it. No, nah, I, I fuck, fuck chat, I, I don't want to do them. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, a couple of, couple of nice pals to start off with, but uh, just push us then, and we've uh, left a hit on, potentially. Not not at all difficult to take. I wonder if those guard biggins will move into uh, support the other guard biggins. Yeah, maybe now that he's made the pick oh, yeah, up, no, so yeah, kept yeah, him there. there. Yeah, yeah, kept him there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we, we can pause here. Because um, they go so fast, the game, you know. I think I'm going to try and pause it a bit more. Um, 
I quite like the mighty blow here, like, you know, the guards around to make it really hard. Yeah. You know, these are really hard to if get If you stand them, you, you get mighty blowed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Hero. Just going to do a random... You know, good, good that he's Weird. hitting the worst player. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. For... Like, good for Dimer that he's hitting the worst player, but then he's not even trying to do anything with this guy. Yeah, it's a bit weird, right? Don't you... What do you do there? Pro probably dodge, right? Because, like, maybe you'll drag a 1 in 9 or something out, right? But the the odds are you get knocked down, right, and take an armor roll. Like, the, the odds are higher getting punched several times than doing a 4 plus dodge, right? Exactly, yeah. Punched out and then punched out and then punched out and punched out. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got a real good chance of going down. Uh, whereas you, you can control where you're knocked down and, uh, and obviously yeah, maybe yeah. not get knocked down and hold a bit wider or something. So, yeah, interesting. Super Incoming interesting. 1 in 81 on the... Uh, <laughs> 1 in 81 and the Black Hawk dies. <laughs> yeah. Big end, a big end, a big end dies. Big end guard, big end. He's dead! Oh, he, 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 he. And he didn't reroll! <laughs> Genius! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect play from Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And there were no real safe moves first he could do before that, so... Yeah. He's in a bit of a pickle here. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the mighty blow. He's gonna, is he going to base yeah. the ball? Yeah. He bases the ball! Yeah, there's a gaping hole through here, isn't there? Well, like, it's, it's a hole that, like... Oh, yeah, I guess one more. Oh, no, because of this assist, play. yeah, so... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's just that guy. Oh, let's see, three plus dodge or something, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Isn't basing the ball here just taking extra hit? Yeah, this is the Sh problem. Surely Mr. Throw just punches him, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or if you do blitz him, it's still giving him a free assist, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that's, what I, that's what I find with basing the ball, is that... You know, even if you're controlling where they blitz, you're still giving them a free assist. Whereas a lot of the time, if you didn't just base him and you just like, you know, I'm not, I know this is a bad example here, but like, say he was here and the ball was there, it's still a threat that you've got to deal with. And you and now, if you blitz him, you've got to put somebody to assist and then yeah. blitz him. Whereas if you base the ball, you're just giving him a free assist. A lot yep, of the yep. time, a lot of the time, it's different sometimes, of course. Yeah, we absolutely. Um, but yeah, this is a bit tricky, right? A decent bit of contact. Um, it is, and, and and in a situation where the, the dwarves could have gone in heavier, even heavier than they have done, that then would be a good time to base the ball, right? But with all the strength of the orcs, and it's still only really a half man's right. There are a lot of orcs free. You, you'd think that the the orcs are going to be able to play their way out of this, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a bunch of hits incoming. That's for sure. So he's just going to block with Mr. Throw, which is a little bit risky. I mean, because this, mm. this side is very weak. I, I would have blitzed with the with a blitzer and then put the ball up here. Oh! And top oh, skulls. Top skulls. Oh. Let me. So the yeah, with what the dwarves are getting from this, there's a lot of hits back next turn, right? There's yeah. going to be a lot of contact. Yeah. And those big juicy uh, big ones with no block make pretty uh, tempty targets. Yeah, yeah, they're great to even one dice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we probably needed that dodge, right, to get him around. Yeah. Oh, another dodge. Orcs are really good at dodging. They are, aren't they? Is, but, yeah. I found they dodge that... all over. It's outrageous. <laughs> I found that versus Malmir, honestly. Like, you yeah. know, like the... Because, you know... Oh. It... Because they're a bit slower, you don't think of like you know chaos. Because they, I guess, because they're armor eight and they get knocked down a bit, and and you know, bit, like they get removed a bit more, and they're and then you know they're mostly arm uh, movement six with the beastmen. You kind of notice that like chaos. Well, actually, they're just as mobile as humans almost, right? Mm. But yeah, orcs are as well, aren't they? They're not that much worse. Yeah. Like they, they can have these kind of turns. It's not it's not unusual. Um, but yeah. I was playing Kemri in black box today. Uh, and I played an orc, and he dackered against me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And he and, and he and he won. <laughs> it was was pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is fucking crazy, yeah. Holy uh, shit. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, this looks. Uh, I don't I don't see an obvious chain push on the ball or anything, but uh, yeah, a few hits, isn't it? it? Looks could be scary with a few hits. Ooh, oh, opens wow. with a with one. I, I mean, there is lots of guard around, right? Like maybe maybe it was the the way to go. I don't know. Mm. And uh, 
Hello, Goliath. Whoa, yep, uh, live from Fancy Whoa. of the Day with him. It was pretty amazing. Oh, so this is the chain. Ooh, so there you go. yeah. Hmm, doesn't get uh, get, doesn't get a 1D, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, uphill to nothing, isn't it? Oh, goes to the reroll. That's yeah. a bit spicy, I feel like. Roll the skull, all right. Like, you rerolled the skull. Yeah, fair enough. Fair I think enough. that's fair, yeah. I think that's fair. And get the power. Four. The power wasn't unlikely, really, was it? Uh, 25%. One in four, yeah. yeah. And like a push puts him in a bit of a pickle. Not not a big one, but a bit of a pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now. Ooh. This guy is uh, stunned. These biggins together very strong, aren't they, up here? Guard biggins yeah. and guard biggins here, so two, two super oh. strong focal points. Biggins together strong. There's been lots of uh, one in nine so far from the, uh, from the Orcs. Yeah. I guess they're taking lots of blocks, though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, down to one reroll. And that, yeah, that's, this is the problem. Like the, It is good having these strength four guys with guard, the guard biggins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the problem is the blocklessness when you know they're 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 essential, aren't they, to, to like keep keep making them yep. like keep them dominating, you wanna keep hitting with them. There's no point just standing them there. It's, yep. it's better to block with them, so it's a bit risky. But we're on turn four now and the orcs haven't got forward basically at all. So I guess the, this is the Luckily. crunch turn for them, right? This is the, the crunch yeah, turn yeah. of this stun. Yeah, it's stun dwarf. And the clock ticking. What, what, what do you do, Elliot? Where do you go? I think it's right, right. You can you can block in with a big and diagonally, and you can block that dwarf way on the right, and you've got two blitzers who can really get up with the pitch on the right. And then the tackle bits can come around the back a little bit as well. And then I like those big ones in the middle blocking diagonally inwards and right and just following up and tying up all the dwarfs. Yeah. And the and that mighty blow bits can smash the mighty blow translator as well. Yeah. So yeah, big push to the right, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. Thanks, Zetok. Glorious. Oh. Yeah, not the dwarf I would have gone for. No, no, yeah. Like, what in, what in eyes anyway, but... Uh... Yeah, like Maybe gone. he was thinking about going left then. Maybe the plan was to go left then if he hadn't won in ninth there. Maybe. Go, fair go, enough. Yeah. Go, going left ignores this guy more, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, because then yeah. He's only got one square and he's he's got three over here and like about four, five over there, right? If you count, if you don't count these yeah. two, he's got three versus five, and then over here, these can these can all go diagonal, but. Then there's, you're leaving two on one, which is good. So you are like you are gaining one there, and then you're also occupying these. I'm I'm, I'm with you on the right, but I, yeah, the left isn't isn't totally terrible. Yeah, he set it up pretty well. The way he could go either way, right? Like he kind of had a nice, you know, voice between the two. Yeah. The problem is, I guess, whichever way he goes, he only gets two guard biggins. But then, the, yeah, the others yes. should should hold the flank pretty pretty yeah, solidly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello, Daily. It's uh, Diomed's Orcs versus oh. Hiru's Dwarves. Another one in nine. Brutal. Blank status not held. <laughs> yes, yeah. Big problem, isn't it? <coughs> Two, with three powers. If you draw three powers there, this is looking solid AF. But oh, instead, incredible, yeah. Yeah, one in nine, and then. Gets like two, one. three dwarves here from, from that mess. Really nice. Yeah. Really and gets to Mike Lower uh, Biggin. Hmm. Oh, oh, going oh this is, ball. yeah. I don't know about that. That seems weird. Like gets him the two D, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> you, it I'm seems like a shortage of dwarfs now on that, the flank on the uh, on the sideline. Yeah, it's still it's still not bad though, right? It's two versus four here. Like that's yeah. that's really good trade from there. With thanks to that one in nine. So that's left him yeah. two versus four. So he is actually is outnumbering here. It's just that, yeah, like three of these guys are kind of behind the ball. So in front of the ball. 
It's four versus five, but he's still outnumbering. Yeah, it's still a good spot, yeah. I feel like maybe one more dwarf in front would be nice. We, we, we can. I was wondering if we'd like follow up there and like potato off through. Not potato off that way, but blitz through that long bit. But I guess not. We've still got a couple of turns, haven't we? Also, Mr. Throw isn't really capable of potatoing, is he? Yeah, true. Wow. Five. Oh my goodness, another one another in one nine. Another one in nine. Wow. Good job Diamond can roll one in nines because he can't roll anything else. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So, we're looking double GFI to score at the moment, aren't we? Yep, yeah. Which is at best. <laughs> yep. And he had to he had to bring the mighty blow here to cover the backside rather than getting him downfield as a as a threat. I, I, I mean, maybe he didn't. I mean, he felt that he did. I guess he did, right? Cause yeah. He, yeah, I guess he probably did. But interesting though, because having him down there, he might have been able to pass and run away, might he? So he'd have really had to have marked him up. If he'd done that. This is uh, this is looking pretty bad. Oh, manager. Oh, especially with the with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <dying. laughs> yeah. Look, looks like a non-score, right? Looks like a non. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess we've got like potato on the left shenanigans. We could potato with a bigot. <laughs> um, I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking potato with a bigot. Yeah, that's not not a good plan, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, the thing is, it's hard for the dwarfs to score, at least, right? Because, like, yeah. they, they've not got to throw a run, a run or anything, have they? Like, it's, it's tough for them to score. So, I, I'd have probably thrown a bit more caution into the wind here, I feel like, as the dwarfs. As the orcs, oh my god. Yeah. No spoilers, oh, well. please, new rows, of course. Um, oh, well, uh, yeah, one in nine. One in nine. Uh, he rolled so many one in nines. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal drive. Yeah, that was, yeah, there were some horrible dice. This is how you, uh, this is how you, I guess, not beat dwarves as orcs, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, this bad. Yeah. There we go. The mighty blow dauntless gets nothing, but you know it could have been something. <laughs> Nah, Doctor Mombosco, we we did a bit. I'm, I maybe we went a bit off the right. Maybe we went a bit off the rails towards the end. But uh, yeah, it's actually it. really good. Yeah, Thanks. It, it was only the end of day one that was, uh, and, and then a bit in day two. It started pretty early in day two. At the start of day two, it like started immediately. And I was like, hmm, <laughs> is this going to send? But no, I, you got, you got my contract pretty well. I thought. Thanks. And yeah, day, day one was definitely really good. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> Hello, Hancock. No need to be mean to Elliot. <laughs> Just because of... Hancock, fuck's sake. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you going to Thulian's thing at the weekend, Hancock? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Dilly, there is that as well, isn't there? Like, this is the thing, you know, we're talking about it a little bit. Um... You are. Oh, thank you very much. Fantastic. Hello, Torek. We we were talking about it, funnily enough, like you know, uh, like you know, saying you know, Adam Savage does you know the the hosting of the you know Fortnite and everything, and oh really? Yeah, oh wow! Yeah, like that's totally different, right? Like you, you've got a hundred people and it's all action all the time from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. There's there's no opportunity. This is more like golf or whatever, isn't it? Where there's a bit. <laughs> yeah, of, uh... yeah. Well, it's not that bad. <laughs> no, no. But you know what I mean, like that sort of thing. There's there's only yeah, so much. Sure, sure. There's, you know, like watching people think for two minutes every turn. There's... Did, did he enjoy it then, Adam Savage? I agree. I mean, I'm assuming he's getting pay, paid right, so he wasn't really there to enjoy it. But did, did he enjoy it? Like he seemed he like he enjoyed it, but I guess that, that's his job, though, right? To seem like he enjoys things. So yeah, I mean, he's he's honestly he's like he's a bit he's like a professional Rick. That's what he's like. I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. how I put. That's how I not not to be mean to Rick, you know, but he's got the long hair and that, hasn't he? And he's you know he's <laughs> he's a, he's in his living room and that, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Like whereas. 
Whereas Adam Savage has got all the production. And oh, that, I and see. He's, all right, I, that's why he's not professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know, I wasn't being, I wasn't being mean to him, but like he's honestly. I thought you meant they had similar length hair. I was like, hey, Adam Savage didn't have that long hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not being mean to Ray, but do you, do you know what I mean? Like he's like. And it, honestly, he's just super nice. He was a lovely fella. And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. the same off screen as on, honestly. Like, you know, maybe like turned up a smidgen, you know, with a like, yeah, yes, now we're sure, sure, the finals. Yeah. But, you know, got to do that a bit. Yeah. But honestly, pretty yeah. much exactly the same. And yeah, he was totally into it. And, you know, I thought, thought Blood Bowl was great and stuff. And, you know, I was really happy. Yeah, that's that, cool. Really happy that, like, you know, the community warmed to him, you know. Um, yeah, I thought he did great yeah. as well, probably. Yeah, like, obviously, he got a, he got a frosty reception from Artemis originally. And, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, before, 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 you know, just when he was announced. Um, oh, right. And I was like, and this was before I was announced. So I was like, I don't know, I think he might be okay. <laughs> and stuff, uh, you know, and, and I chat, give him a chat. And then he came on to my, just my stream, didn't he? Like, off his own back, he didn't have to do that. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was yeah. a good sign, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was really great. He was really, he was really fucking great, I thought. Very, I was, I was inspired by Savage. I thought he was, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Um... You know, obviously, I got on well with Dave and stuff, but yeah, like, kind of, I kind of expected that, you know what I mean? Because, like, obviously, I was a bit of a dick, wasn't I, previously? And I'd kind of, uh, it, you know, not kind of, I was massive, you know, I, I, I apologise for all that, but... Uh, did, did did you, like, t bring that up at all with Adam Savage, or, like, how you used to be, like, enemies? Or yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was did funny. You, did it was, you, did you? Nice. Like, literally the first time we, we did, like, the voice call to, you know, like, you know, talk ah, about okay, it and stuff, okay. he's like, oh, so you two must be, uh, it must be friends already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, he said, are, are you two friends because of this, or is there a bit of, or is there a bit of, like, rivalry with, uh, you know, with going for the titles and that? And <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 best, best defense. Well, it's a funny story, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah 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 exactly yeah it was it was real fun real it was re he was honestly i thought he was like absolutely incredible but like he's done loads of things man like he's he's interviewed henry cavill and uh he's oh, interviewing, really? cool. yeah interviewing max verstappen next next month i think so yeah so how come how come one minute you're interviewing henry cavill and max verstappen and the next max verstappen <laughs> sorry and the next moment you're doing blood bowl <laughs> <laughs> you know like, like a bit of a come down right <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I mean, I, he, I guess he just takes what he can get, doesn't he? You know, at the end of the day, like the, the, the yeah, yeah, offers that yeah, are made, yeah, sure. and he, he does them. And he, I mean, he was, he was like, you know, to bring, to bring the the level that he did was was really, really incredible. Um, it mostly good as well, like like having a variety of stuff. To be fair, like like it yeah, be, well, it must be nice to see a bunch of different stuff. Like. Yeah, yeah, Henry Cavill. Oh man, I, I wish I'd got Plovac to to send me the some Jimmy Fantastic chocolate. When I found out, I found out on like the eighth. And then we didn't go to the twentieth, right? So I could have, I could have asked Plo to send me a bunch of Jimmy Fantastic chocolate, and I could have turned up and given them, <laughs> given it to people, and be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic chocolate, but of course, it's nothing to do with me. Um, don't sue me, please, Jimmy Fantastic chocolate. I, I just looked up. I, I honestly thought the game had been playing this entire time, and it's. I just realised you paused. So yeah. let's, let, 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 let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I was like, oh, it must be like turn eleven by now. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious pro. Um, yeah, Camel probably does know Blood Bowl. Yeah, he might have even watched this. Crazy, eh? Yeah. He could have watched this stream or the finals. Who knows? I mean, yeah, I, I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say there's a high percentage chance <laughs> that he didn't. I mean, there's a high percentage chance that he did. <laughs> how could he uh... not watch? How could he not watch this? No, there's no. <laughs> he likes 40k, doesn't he? I don't know. I, yeah, that's like that's, that's the thing, right? Blood Bowl is even niche within like the, the Games Workshop uh, niche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is weird. Oh, so there we go. The, the mighty blow blitz into a potential follow-up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I wonder, though. I wonder. Like, can, can we go back? We can go back individual things. Do you know what I prefer? Um, putting a guy in. Oh, I can't because the mighty blow's in the way. Oh, okay. So oh, and it, chaining. Yeah, yeah, because he could have put, chaining like... Chaining an orc out? Oh, no, he's not in the way. Yeah, this... this oh, he's a thrower. I, 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 I really hate that he plays the throw on defense just quietly. Um, mm -hmm. 
So yeah, he could have like put this rookie blitzer, could have come in here, right? And then mm -hmm. he could have he could have uh, blitzed with the tackler. And then mm -hmm. if he pows Oh no, because this guy comes out no. here. <laughs> no. No. Disregard. I'm stupid. Okay, well, now I feel oh. bad, don't I? That was that would have been yeah, a really bad do. idea. Right, good job I didn't go back and pause it just to look at how shit and wrong I was. No, that would have been embarrassing. Like, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> that would have really been embarrassing, wouldn't it? Rata, <laughs> Rata. <laughs> that was the last pause we ever got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never again. Unfortunately, there is no functionality to pause in these games. But not honestly, seriously, what's great about the replays? I'm not just doing this as a as a, as a new uh, company fully, boy. Fully cyanide pilled now. Yeah, yeah. But it is great, right? That you can like go back by actions and stuff and by turns. So, so why? What happens when you press back? Um, like you go. Wait, there's back two. To the, there's two. So, the previous action. The, the, just just goes back one action at a time. Yeah, or by turn. So these are actions and these are turns. Mm, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is actually genuinely really like, good. Uh, I mean, it, it is. It's like the most basic flipping thing imaginable. Like <laughs> my is. god, like it is. It's, it's more how bad the replay it's... was in Blood Bowl Two than how yeah. good the replay is in Blood Bowl Three. But hey, at least they at least they didn't yeah. save it. You know. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Corporate shill, Jimmy. Fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> No, I, th I think that's you know I think it's fair to like appreciate things they've done better if you know especially if you're gonna rag on all of the things that are worse. <laughs> like some things have been better. Like I really I like no I I love that it's not those thirty second chunks anymore, man. I hated that. I hated that's that really good, song. yeah. F fifteen second chunks, yeah. Fifteen second chunks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that's really good, yeah. What's this? Oh, so he's just gonna block him and then blitz off. Have the auto clicker for replays. <laughs> no, no. There is no need for the auto clicker for replays. <laughs> it would be very difficult to go back individual actions if you had the auto clicker. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, back to the start of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, a pretty strong turn there, wasn't it? Pretty strong turn from Diamed there. Knocks over yep. some guys, pushes guys, trans trans people on guard, strands people on guard, biggins, and a very strong line of orcs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah I guess tough. like he does it. He does it. He doesn't fall with that guard being onto the guard dwarf. He, in the end, it's stood anyway. So it looks great. But uh, like, what what do you think? Does he does he not want the guard biggin to like go too far out of the formation? You know, would he, would, and it's only one square movement anyway for the for the guard black for the guard uh, dwarf thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're still you're still stopping him essentially, right? You'd have to go mm. four and then like double GFI over here. Maybe he thinks it's worse if he GFIs as well, and yeah, because he keep him part of the pack. I mean, dwarves are yeah. never going to foul you, are they? So uh, I don't know. I guess it would be just an easy Slayer Blitz on him, right? Yeah. E e easy, mighty blow on lo one of your best players, you know? well, yeah. Whereas this way, he like he just did a normal Blitz on like a Blitz or something on the corner, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the guard behind him, hasn't he? So that's the thing. So you... Yeah, he can't really Slayer, yeah. Yeah, he can't Slayer, so yeah, protect him from the Slayer. Yep. Blood Bowl 3 did release an article on the competitive scene in Steam. Yep, you can, you can see it in my Discord here. Yeah. I did pause it. We can talk about it after this, actually. It's an idea, isn't it? Thanks we very can, much, Thulian. Look at that! Positive words about Elliot. Yes! Whoa, holy shit! Woo! Take that, YouTube commentator guy! <laughs> Commenter, not commentator. Thulian, Thulian's never been on YouTube in his life. Good job, Thulian. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Everyone's Lots been of... very supportive about it all. Yeah, it was really cool. Everything about it was really cool and good. Yeah, I thought like Lots that. of I thought that as like, you know, a, a competitor and and that, do you know what I mean? I uh, and you know, from like Nacon committing to things I thought was all brilliant. Uh, but it's nice for you know, the the old production everything. I thought everything was fantastic. Um, but it's great to hear people 
not only agree with that, but also say that I was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Here we Key go. Ball, ball base. base. See, this is just like a continuation of the previous turn, isn't it? I guess that they're all they're all there where they were and now piled in a bit more. This is, uh, maybe there's a uh, way don't you just, on the side. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking you don't just punch that the liner with a ball, right? And then you can chain it for guard big as well. But I guess I guess it, if you're doing that, you're not moving right, and the turns are ticking. So I guess Dmed's just thinking, yeah, you know, hold him up, hold him up, hold him up. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. you've really got... You need penetration, like, more than anything as a dwarf. Um, yeah. It's, it's tough just... Oh, oh no. right. <laughs> there, I, there, there was a one time, I don't know if it was there or whatever, you said something about penetration, then Andy giggled, and you like, no, no, it's serious penetration. <laughs> and it's a serious term. And it's, I mean, you're clearly, you're clearly proving against yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't. You can't be both ways. It's either funny or it's not. <laughs> well, I wasn't saying it just as a joke. That's what I was trying to say. I meant it. I well, you started just... laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't help that. I can't help that. I can't help that. I can't help that. Wait, go. what? Wait, what's this? Fifteen? Wait, is this it? This is they posted a new thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. We'll have a look. Do you want to have a look at it after this? We'll have a look no, at it after yeah, this. No, yeah, yeah. After, yeah, yeah. After. Yeah. I, I thought this was the thing they posed like months ago. No, no. There's going to be a thing. circuit. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Vituk was on I, the, I, uh... I, I fucking really don't want to play Blood Bowl 3, but if there's some kind of fucking thing that I'm going to fucking have to I <laughs> Yes. Oh. As he does the diagonal blitz to chain him off. I'm not even sure chaining him off is even that good. Like, sticking him on a guard... It's pretty decent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's interesting. Like the, uh, you, you, you get it often with, with blocks and stuff, right? With stronger teams, you, you end up with like, or even like weaker teams with lots of guards. You, and the, the instinct is to push people away, right? But uh, honestly, a lot of the time, because you think, well, they can get a free hit out of it or something. But a lot of the time, they can't, right? A lot of times, it's really difficult. So sometimes you've got to think about, yeah, just just keeping them based up, right, and making their lives harder. Yeah. And then they uphill you, and your guy dies, and you're like, man. <laughs> 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 Every fucking time. Why are his 1Ds better than my 3Ds? <laughs> yep. Yep. Ah, oh, thanks, Fallen Glory. Glorious. Nice stay with a mighty blow there, anticipating the big and block into, into tying up two dwarfs. That's pretty yes. cool. Leaves the mighty blow free. That's pretty. Thinking yeah. ahead. Yeah. Love to see it. Yeah, very nice. Honestly, well, lots I, of pals this turn as yeah, well. Yeah, right? great dice, Beautiful right? Not one in nines has ease. Like you know, this is four yeah, turns yes, without a yeah. single one in nine. He hasn't had to re-roll yeah. it. Oh well, Whoa! there we go. <laughs> oh, jinxed. <laughs> and honestly, this this non-follow doesn't even cost like non-following in dub skills doesn't even cost him right because you know even if he'd followed there. So what? He's just getting a hit like these two are too yeah. slow to do anything anyway. It's it's too late in the drive, I think, now for like maybe a, a cut back to the center. Maybe. Because there's a lot on the side here, isn't there? I don't think he can go yeah. down the side anymore. No. So he probably has to try and cut through to the center. Yeah. Oh, that's just Pas pa pa Pasta. There we go. It did cost him something. Pasta, what, the guard beard and <laughs> potato. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Like, like genuinely uh, uh, maybe. if it was if it was a turn later, then I'm thinking about it. Like, yeah. this is probably long enough for the orcs to run you down and counter score. You know, if you did it this turn, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, if he was like, if he was over the halfway line, so he could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. If you could two turn from there, then yeah, that would be incredible. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah, it would, it would be on for sure. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need to pass. You could have, could have GFI'd and handed it off as well. Could have been, could have yeah. been good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need pen honestly penetration is the perfect, the perfect term for what you have to do. Right, you need you need you need to like secure the ball, protect the ball. Or, you know the, the three tensions. Time. Yeah, yeah. You have to protect the ball. <laughs> you have to. You have to instigate penetration you have to you have to penetrate their defense at some point you just say you cannot score without it right unless you just bang them out so hard that they've got nothing in your way so like oh here we go that was a lovely little chain wasn't it oh, oh God, what a great yeah this was goes to the reroll oh it was one in nine another oh no oh no one in nine to the blitzer okay yeah so yeah. it was like a like an aggro reroll what'd you get Standard. yeah it gets him 2d on the ball doesn't it yeah that was the thing it was it, it... necessary to get 2d on the ball 
Did he need he was, to do the ball? Yeah, are you, are you just stopping them anyway is the thing like, yeah. oh, another video, ooh. Maybe he wants to put it in to get the counter score, this is to the it, thing. To, yeah, to be yeah. fair, now it, yeah, I, I didn't realise he'd not even used the blitz, yeah, to be fair, it, it, now it turns from a stopping into a, hang on a minute, we're about to win the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, he failed Oh, he did oh, the stop. trick shot. <laughs> Incredible. It does give him the, uh... Pretty instant 2D, or is it? Maybe not. It's not uh, that instant, no. No, no, no. It's. I guess he can one, two, three, one double D. GFI. Yeah. Or like one D. See if you pull uh, him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely one. Oh. Oh yeah. Two. There we go. <laughs> just two D. Yeah. Or just two D. Oh yeah. yeah. There's Ooh. a reason that uh, who was in the finals and we won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Complete brain dead casting there. Fantastic. <laughs> Man, it happens also now, doesn't it? You get like... It, this is really quick as well, right? To be fair. To be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, us. Yeah. This is really fucking fast. And secondly, yeah, it's, yeah. it's different when like you're, you're zoned in on the game and stuff. Uh, but also, like you still end up, whether you're playing or, or watching... Why is this not pausing? Uh, whether you're playing or watching, I... you still tunnel vision. I think it's easier to tunnel vision while you're playing, but you can still tunnel vision when you're watching as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. God, an apple yeah. fails. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I guess you've got to apple that, haven't you? Like you can't hope for a KO. I, it's those are so tough. Like they they used to be tough when it was fifty fifty, right? And it's even tougher now, honestly. Like it's such a tough, such a tough call. Yeah. There's the one in nine Wait. that he he felt he had to re-roll. Could he have done a save? Oh, did he? First? Wow. Ooh. Now he's got a GFI to hit the ball. Gets him down. Gets the AV break, so the score is stopped now, I guess. Gets oh, it's big one. Yes, two turns. Wow. Biggin's picking up the ball, Mr. Throws punching dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I, I can't put into words just how much I hate. Uh, Diamed fielding, Mr. Thrawn defense. It's like, <laughs> it's he's just a weak link, isn't he? And not only a weak link for the drive, a weak link for the whole match. Like if he gets taken out in this in this drive, like yeah. it's crazy, isn't it? It's great. Like it harms you. Yeah, it harms everything. It it's like it, it's kind of in a way, it kind of like escalates as well, right? Because uh, it, it's not just that he's the weak link. It it. it you, you, he, he also makes uh, your, like your biggins and your blitzers more exposed, right? Because he's, he's no, he's no longer a lino to stand in the way and just be shit, right? Exactly. You know, yeah, he, he was putting the other players more likely to get hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's pretty crazy. Yeah, pretty it's a lino on the bench. It's not, not a second Mr. Throw. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. He's just literally, he's just literally choosing to put armor eight on the field instead of armor nine. And, and <laughs> having said that, <laughs> Mr. Throw, he's about to pick it up, move yeah. to the ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 and about to pass as well. And he, oh, oh, to that guy, of course. Oh, oh, yeah. fucking Mr. Throw, man. <laughs> one, one, one job. <laughs> one job. Absolutely useless. <laughs> Yeah, so he But still, he'll, he'll be handy next to it as well, right? Like, this is still very much on, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Wow, doesn't reroll. <gasps> doesn't reroll. I mean, that feels kind of like greedy, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's best. It's, it's just like a, you know, it's. it's yeah, uh, this isn't it's, difficult, is it? No, it's like a 3 2, and then you got reroll for everything else, right? So it's a pretty high odd score now. Yeah, 3. Three plus pick up with sure hands. Three plus uh, pass. Oh plus shit! It's three two two because of animosity. Yeah. And then... <laughs> oh, he throws the catch. Oh, he's out of rerolls. Yeah, he was completely out of rerolls. But yeah, it wasn't. It yeah, wasn't too yeah. hard, was it? It wasn't too hard. That was that was ballsy from uh, or greedy. Yeah, depending on your point of view from Hiru. Um, yeah, yeah. Gre gre greedy is a stupid word to use to rice, but yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'd probably be wrong. Because at that point, I'm just thinking, he's going to make the 3 2 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> at that point, I'm just thinking, yeah, it's just too high odds. I've got to do everything to try to stop it. But, but you know, fair play. He calculated differently, and he's got a reroll now. Yeah, and he's got the ball. He's and, got the reroll. And the ball, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. But only 10 dwarves and only two guards. 
Yep, and brilliant coaching. Oh my god! So, and brilliant oh. coaching. Now and Dimer gets his reroll back. Oh, and he just sculled out. And he just sculled out <laughs> on the LOS. Reroll, reroll reverse, reroll, reroll, reroll switch. <laughs> oh my god! So that not rerolling that is just is just you know led him to win. Like that's crazy, isn't it? What the hell? <laughs> what a swing! What a swing from like going. Oh, this is great. I'm I'm receiving in I'm receiving in overtime with one reroll to none, and then now it's the other way around. Andy's down two guard. Uh, uh. Holy shit! Is it sunny? Oh, I don't, I don't know if it's sunny or not. One D blitz. Oh, that's uh, spicy. Before the pickup as well. Did he miscalculate that or, or what? It seems a bit weird. Maybe, yeah. It does seem a bit weird, doesn't it? It seems weird enough for us to both think, is it a miscalculation? Which is, you know, yeah. more weird than Hiru normally plays, right? Like, you know, if it was yeah. if it was somebody else, maybe. But uh, that did yeah. seem weird. Yeah, a bit, a bit strange. But maybe, maybe he thinks, you know, 10 players down, you know, he, after absolute... Zero penetration. Like I don't, I don't think he got the ball in the other half, did he, in the previous drive? No, yeah, no. I just brutalised by the Orcs, dominated. Yeah, so maybe he just thought, look, I've, I've got to do this. I've got to make something happen. I guess it's just like, you know, after the pickup, surely, right? Like, it's, <laughs> it's not even more likely to work. Like the pickup's literally more likely to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. A bit weird. It but is. yeah, like fair, fair, fair play. <laughs> It's a lot, of, you know. There's a lot of happening as well, psychologically as well, isn't it? You know, he went from that one reel to none. Now he does first action pickup. <laughs> I mean, what else can he do? Oh, I guess that's a two D. Okay, he had a two D. <laughs> there was there was one two D <laughs> available to him, and he found it. <laughs> now he had to guess do the, a... guess the dauntless. Uh... Oh no, didn't get the dauntless. Sorry, it would have been a two D with a dauntless. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, oh well, okay. There we go. And uh, Apo, Apo pointless, you know, yeah. uh, with that one. Yeah. Wow, huge removal. Yeah, but yeah. And that was like all he could ball. do that turn. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the, the one hit he got was a pretty good hit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but now the Hawks get ten hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this looks, this looks rough. So he's got a 1D if he wants it. Can he get better? Yeah, I, I'm thinking just like, but he could just block in with a guard big and right, but yeah. I, I don't even know, right? I'm almost thinking just thinking just smush in, you know, to crank the. He's got a blitz though, hasn't he? This is the thing, he might just go for a speculative one at the end. Yeah, I, I, I guess so, yeah, why not? He puts the Lino behind the play, right? But who cares? It's only a Lino, I guess. Yeah. Oh, goes oh, for oh, the reroll and gets the 181. Oh my god. <laughs> the block dies have been pretty trash for DM, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. So now the blitz with this long beard. Yeah, we've actually uh, we got through. half a chance. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, now he doesn't get a two D on it, does he? So. Mm. Oh, the can get this through there. Ooh, I guess the it's the one in that. It's a nice, uh, nice choice, I guess. Yeah. Potato. Yeah, everyone's tagged. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh it's like an educated potato, right? Like he oh oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not anymore. <laughs> educated potato. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this guy was instantly freeable in the, the Yeah, I, was... I I guess he could he could have no he could have wandied that could could he yeah he could have he'd not blocked that guy, right? He could have wandied that guy and then uh. and then forced a dodge to two D. Yeah. yeah, I mean it, it, yeah, it was he had a chance, it wasn't great, but no re-rolls means that uh, something... It's not over, is it? It's not over! <laughs> it's not, I mean, never is, is it? But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's rough, isn't it? It's really rough, yeah. Times. But this is an instant 1D anyway. Instant 1D from the runner, isn't it? He needs to throw. Oh, I guess he's he, cause he's going to dodge to cover it at the end. <clears throat> yeah, dodge to cover. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh, blitz. Oh, blitz to cover, yeah. Well, yeah, it's interesting, though, because he does have to GFI now, right? Yeah. So that was a, a 2 plus, 2 plus slash 3 plus <laughs> versus yeah. a 3 plus. So, yeah, interesting one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point, actually, Daily. Yeah, very, a very educated potato. <laughs> the master's degree. A, a potato the master's. That's good, isn't it? Just like, just like our hero here. 
They do get slightly different feedback on YouTube, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ages. Sorry. So yeah, this is looking really strong now for a Diomed. <laughs> YouTube isn't for everyone. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. Oh yeah, I guess he had to, didn't he? Because he couldn't get through. I was, I thought, wouldn't, wouldn't you push him to there so you can get past? But you just can't get past anyway. So. Might as well. There. This is looking really rough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad times for the dwarves. Yeah. On D-Pow. Instant. I guess he's got to dodge this guard off. And then GFI in there, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Dodge this Blitzer off, let's go. I wonder if he should have double GFI'd. And I know it seems like stupid because 30% of the time you don't get there and 100% of the time you're here. But it's just one of those, isn't it? I just wouldn't know. Oh, you could have chained all the way through anyway. Um, maybe you could have GF, double GF out of here or something. It's interesting though, isn't it? Because yeah, yeah. That double GF, like how good is he standing here? How good is he standing here? Who knows? Hello, how Andy. Bad it would be with the GFIs. Yeah, yeah, it would have been it would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? But then you've got to balance that with the, you know, the hundred percent chance of him being there, versus the the not, you know, how good is the seventy? How bad is the thirty? And uh, yeah, I hope you're feeling better. I mean, I, well, I know I know that you're at dead ill. I put on the Discord, but uh, yeah, very very uh, very am amazing effort, honestly, in in France, especially considering how. Absolutely fucked you up. <laughs> well, here we go, two D on the ball, easy. So you know, look that the, the the you know the um the value of him being stood there was massive as he got a two D on the ball, seventy five percent chance knockdown. So yeah. if that, this is the thing we're just never gonna know. We're just never gonna know if these things are good or not. Are, are we? <laughs> Essentially, we're just we, never. We, gonna we, know. we 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 might do one day. Yeah. If like. I mean, we we as in me and you probably not, but like in the year like five thousand, <laughs> you know, when they're when they're obviously still going to be playing Blood Bowl, yeah. and finally someone gives enough of a shit to actually work it out, then yeah. uh, then they'll know. Yeah, well, this is the thing. So so he, right, what what is stopping Blood Bowl stockfish, Elliot? Seeing as you're the no you're the no, no no no. No, no, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> so. No, I mean, I mean, really, like, like, yeah, they, they, they could, they could, they could make, yeah, something as, you know, as, as similar, yeah, you know, they could make something analogous to, I, I've never done what a stockfish is, but you know, some, some kind of chess solving program, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I always do deep, deep blue, right? <laughs> That's what I yeah, always remember. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. But and, and and you know, they solve go now as well, right? Like people never thought they'd do go. They thought go would be much harder. Go, they don't go. You know, they can beat humans at go. The best humans. So, uh, so yeah, they they could make something like that for Blood Bowl. You know, easy peasy, but like you know. Yeah, who, who gives a fuck? Yeah, yes. <laughs> like it's, it's yeah. Ch chess, and, chess and go. People know those and, and stuff, right? But don't don't forget about blood belt. Yeah, but like what what I mean is like what's what's you know you might not be able to answer, but people in the chat might know. You know, we've got a lot of uh, we've got a lot of people who are interested in computer things, right? Programmers, etc. Like what's what's the what's the thing stopping it? Do you know what I mean? Like what's the bottleneck? Like is it is it man hours? Is it computational power? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, because the the hours are, are never going to get better, are they? Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's the so, that's the problem. So yeah, you need a lot of computational power, right? If you want to do something like uh, something like they 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 did for the big like learning stuff, right? But uh, it's funny because I reckon I reckon, uh, and this is kind of to to Blood Bowl's kind of disadvantage. I reckon I reckon Blood Bowl isn't like chess and and go and that kind of stuff. I I reckon you could make like a a really really good yeah. Blood Bowl AI uh, sort of without you know. Much kind of uh, like deep learning stuff at all, and mm -hmm. just like uh, kind of like uh, algorithmic or whatever. Because uh, I reckon you could probably boil Blood Bowl down a lot more easily than you can boil like chess or go or something down. Mm -hmm. 
make two dice blocks, <laughs> protect the ball. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Safe yeah. moves first. <laughs> move this, move this big into here before you make that dodge and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe I'm completely off base on that, like, but yeah, I, I, I reckon so. Oh, he wasn't in range anyway, so. Okay, well, there you go. I mean, we, we kind of missed the super exciting two turn at the end there, but there wasn't much chance of it anyway. <laughs> right. Congratulations, Diamond. Uh, you know, hung in there, hung in there through the horrendous dice in the first half and absolutely dominated on defense uh, twice to get the 1 0 the one nil turnover win. Uh, Hero goes through to the loser's bracket. Uh, Diamond advances to winner's bracket. Uh, versus Strider, who's already beaten out Miss Two Nil, because um, we're we're still you know kind of in the past now, but we do know some things that have happened. Um, thank you very much, Elliot, for joining us. What? This was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm completely confused. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.